Hello everybody, this is Anime Master 2 d 2 Welcome back to another tutorial. We're carrying on with the music porting. Now I'm going to explain uh, Sonic 2 and its format. Now, Sonic 2 is a bit tricky, but I'm going to try and break things down to you guys. Um, we don't really need to, if I remember correctly, um, I think flag wise we are the same I mean if we have a look at uh, if we go to the coordination coordination the coordination flag sorry page on uh, Sonic Retro here this is Sonic 1's as you can see it goes up to F9 and this is Sonic 2's it also goes up to F9 so you know E3 does the same thing all that should be fine however even, uh, I mean, I'd arguably say that with Sonic 3, uh, you sort of know, once you know it, that's, you know, you, that's fine. You're still limited, of course, but with Sonic 2, is it has an, an encryption, actually, well, well, a compression, I should say, to be specific. If we go over, if you have Sonic 2, just open it, um, or if you have, if you have Sonic 2 disassembly, because that'd be easier. If you, if you haven't, I could always provide one, but this is just to look at it. You know, if you you don't necessarily have to, but this is just to show you guys that I don't want that. Since I uh, since I've had this for a while, this is probably an old one, but you know. Anyway, so let's bring out Emerald Hill Zone because this is the one that we're going to be porting over today. Uh, I just literally just picked picked the first one. So I figured I figured let's give our Green Hill Zone different music. I know Emerald Hill Zone isn't very original but you know this is just near just for an example. So you look at it and you know you've got a header and you think oh, okay seems right. You've got like a 602 and you're like mm, okay. But then you and then you got a 204 and yeah. It at first it sort of looks like it's okay but then it gets really, really, really complicated. Um, this has an encryption, or I can say encryption here. This has a compression. We need to uncompress it in order to then convert it over to Sonic 1. So it has a compression. Sonic 3 doesn't even have a compression. Um, it just You just convert things over. So, yeah, this has a compression. Now, if we read here in the pointers and the header, header um, tab, if we go down here, the Z80 it says Sonic 2 Final. Obviously, you got Mega Man, but yeah, we're not we're not here to talk about Mega Man. Wait, so yeah, Sonic 2 is a special case amongst games that use the Z80 SMPS engine, and that its music is compressed to Im individual files in the Saxman compression. In contrast to normal Z80 SMPS music, the only difference is that compressed music in Sonic 2 always has the starting offset of 1380. Remember this, well, or write it down. I would suggest. Um, I'll. Uh, I've got some notes, so I'll be using that. Um, and all operations are pretty much, you know, the same. Think of it like um, remember what I was talking about the Z80, where it says here where the offsets are normally like 8,000. Um, so if like this is obviously 7080, you have to flip it, flip it round so it becomes 8,000. Because remember the offsets are 8,000, so you know, you'd flip it so it'd be 8078 rather than 7880. 7, 8, you'd flip it, then we know the 8 is, you know, the 8 would be like 0 or whatever, so then we can then convert it from there. And, uh, yeah. Um, but we're actually going to need the hex calculator, so first thing I suggest you to do is uh, just Google hex calculator. There we go. Um, I'll just use the first page here and it does the trick, so that's all good. So we got our hex calculator right there. And uh, then we need to convert um, Emerald Hill Zone so that uh, you know we don't have that issue. Um, and what we can do is we can actually use a program called the Sega Data Compressor. Uh, I will put that in the link in the description. It's on the uh, it's on the, uh, the programs page. If you go to programs, go to Sonic Hacking Utilities, um, be on the compressors, I would assume. Yeah, the Sega Data Compressor is an old one, but it does what needs to be done. So, yeah. That's where you can get it. 
Alright. So, I think I did it already, but I'll just explain it to you. So, these are like the individual files. Because so I've got an issue with the Sega Data Compressor. Um, I, I had an issue with a lot of programs, because most of these programs... I think most of these programs I transferred from when I had a Windows Vista laptop. And for some reason it like screwed the format over or something. Some of these programs don't even work anymore for me. No matter how many times I download them. I don't know. It's weird. But I can open the file individually but what you might have is you might have like a massive file which has all these compressions but in my case you know I don't have that because it doesn't work anymore so I'm gonna open the, the individual file and the only one I need to know need to know the need to use I should say is the decompressor here so we're just gonna open that and this is what it will look like so um, we don't go to the Sonic 2 disassembly what we do is we find our Sonic 2 ROM so make sure you have one it's going to be key. So it's open Sonic 2. That's our source file. Because we, we're going to get the location. So we don't need to worry about it. And then what we do is. We go to Sonic 1. Fresh. Sound. And we name it Edward Hills. And I'm not going to do it. Because I believe I already have. Question mark. If I remember. Correctly. I think I did. Let me check. Let me go to. Uh. Let's go to our folder. I think I did. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, I already did it. So, yeah, name it Emerald Hill Zone. And then you scroll down. And then you double click Emerald Hill Zone. And then you decompress. And that's all you. That's, 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 what, that's what you do. Now, it do, doesn't do it for all songs, I don't think. Um, they say it uses a special format. So, I'm not 100%. Sorry. I'm not 100% sure on this um i think they may talk about it a bit somewhere in the in the in the music guide so um perhaps you can have a look over there if you've got issues or you might even be able to use um one of the music programs um so we've done that now before we move on i'll just briefly explain the music programs i'm referring to so let me get in my music folder so well the music programs. This is a really old one. I think is it this one? Yeah, Israel Sound Importer. Well, that's one. Um, that's one, and that's this is a little bit more complicated. But this is um, this is to do with like a voice voice swapping and and whatnot and different things. But this is one. This is this is uh, one of the ones that you could use. You would uh, open the file, the, like Sonic Three, Sonic Two. Put the destination, and then it would come up with a list, and you choose what game, and then the offset and whatnot, um, and then whatever you need to do, you convert like the location or whatever. Or if it's directly to this, if it's just one file, then you'd swap it to relative or absolute depending on the format, and then save it, and then it should essentially do it for you. If you need to, you know, convert anything, you would change so and so to so and so da -da 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 -da. whatever you know like you've got the f9 to f9 or fb fb so it'd be like e3 d3 whatever and yeah that's what you would do so it essentially covers every like almost everything i believe like flags all that jazz so really i wouldn't be surprised if you guys would be like ah screw this i'm gonna download this and i'm just gonna use it sure go ahead um it's not perfect but it's it for what it is, it's good. Like I say, it's an old tool, and I can't remember if there's actually a more recent tool where you can just port Sonic 2 to Sonic 1. Um, I want to say that you might even be able to just find imports, perhaps. Well, there were import, there were like uh, songs that you could download, I believe, on SSRG. I know a lot of them were just MIDI's. Some of them might be like from Sonic 1 or Sonic 2, Sonic 3, whatever. Um, but I don't think it's I don't think the uh, the download page is even there anymore. I don't know what happened to it, but it got updated. A lot of things changed. I don't think it's there anymore. Um, but you might even be able to just find a music pack, possibly. Uh, anyway, but, you know, the reason why I'm doing it in Hex is more so if you want to port from other games. Because, like I say, these don't cover them. And then, and these tools aren't 100% perfect. They're pretty good. Some of them are pretty good, but they're not 100% accurate. So, you know, 9 times out of 10, you may need to open up open the file up in a hex editor and fix the rest of it yourself anyway but this could be a good idea to shave some t 
time, you know, shave some time on everything, if, if, if you do everything correctly. Um, the other one, which I think, where do I have the other one? Uh, is it in here? Yeah, this is the old, old one, where it doesn't do any of that. All it does is, um, all it does is, uh, you know, it converts things over, but it, um, doesn't fix flags or any. Well, it does a lot of things automatically, if I remember correctly. Um, but the other one that allows for more customization. Uh, and I think the other one covers Sonic 3D, and this one only covers Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Actually, the other one might actually cover Knuckles Codex as well. I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure on that. But they say I did this. Uh, and then I could do Sonic 1 to Sonic 2 Beta, Sonic 2 Beta to Sonic 1, Sonic 2 to Sonic 1, Sonic 3K. Yeah, these are the only options we'd have. But obviously, if we did Sonic to Sonic 1, we'd do that. Um, we'd choose Emerald Hill Zone. And then we'd... If, 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 if this was going in our Sonic 1 ROM directly, we would leave this unchecked. But since this would be a sound file, you would check it. And then, it would, then we'd save it as whatever. But I'm not going to do that, but I'm just explaining it. So you can give these tools a try. Um, like I, said, I wouldn't recommend them as like a permanent solution, but it might be worth just experimenting, um, just to shave some time. But when we go over to Hex, when I cover that, which we'll be doing shortly, I might have to split this into two parts or do it in the next part. Um, you know, things like if you import this and this isn't sounding correctly, um, you know, I should be able to cover it in a hex editor and then you'll be able to do it properly so I'll be showing you how to do a perfect port pretty much of Emerald Hill Zone in hex because um, like I said the tool will shave time off but it 9 times 10 it won't be a perfect port unless someone can tell me that there is a program that does a perfect port of all this stuff and you don't need to do hex editor at all then that's great for Sonic 3 and Sonic 2 and whatnot but you know for other games you're probably going to need to use a hex editor um, if you want to convert them from another Mega Drive game. But I thought I just wanted to mention to you guys. Also, one more thing. Before we move on, I know there's a lot to cover. The Music Pointer Fixer. Again, another very old tool. 2006. <laughs> like, really old. Um, it literally does what it says on the tin. It fixes pointers, flags, voice conversion. Although there's a bit of an issue but it might be to do with the compression maybe like when you when you uncompress it because I tried experimenting with this and it kept saying there's not 19 voice or like there's that like uh, either Sonic 2 either didn't have enough voices or had too many voices and I thought to myself are you sure and it wouldn't convert basically uh, you can, you can uh, port tracks to Sonic 1 and you don't even have to worry about any voice issues well you can do it but the voices sound weird so yeah but I'll, I'll get to voices when we get to it which we'll need to cover but but yeah this is it like I say this literally just does what it says in the tin and I think this may work somewhat similar for 3D but it doesn't initially say um, I think on the page it might mention that it could work with Sonic 3D because Sonic 3D is similar to Sonic 3 and Knuckles not sure about Knuckles Chaotix though you've also got Rift of the Sonic 1 which is actually quite simple um, so yeah it's like hey yeah, Rista <laughs> Roystar, Roystar, Rista, whatever you wanna, whatever uh, I, I'm so used to calling them Rista but I guess it's Roystar or whatever whatever you wanna call them anyway yeah so that's another tool all right what time are we at we are at 14 minutes okay so I'm gonna carry on because this has been too short I've been mumbling maybe I'll edit some of this out so you don't have to worry about it anyway we don't need this open right now let's close right so back to our file we've converted it right so let me just open my Sonic 2 notes here we are okay now Let's find our file, which is Emerald Hill Zone right here. There we go. Alright, now this looks better. 0603. And, uh, yeah. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is... This right here is what it would be like in Sonic 2. But that's going to be ridiculously fast. So we need to change it to something more realistic. 103, like I believe I mentioned before, is a common tempo used 
So, try one free. I think it's fine. I think it sounds pretty much how it should sound like for the most part. So that that you know that's a good tempo to use. So we're going to save that like that, and that's all done. That's that's nice and easy. Now remember how it's saying that the music, the pointer, always has a pointer of thirteen eighty, right? Thirteen eighty, eighty thirteen. That's the pointer. That's the pointer that it would have. So think of it like think of it like the eight thousand that I was talking about when it when it comes to like other Z80 songs like Sonic 3 but instead we're just using 1380 we're not we're not flipping it around we're not flipping this around anyway we're not flipping it so it's 18 I don't actually know why I did that I think I was just experimenting we're not doing anything like that we don't need to do anything like that all we need to do is is we've got 11 1 a here so what do we do we grab 1380 so let's get up uh, get open our uh, hex editor um well we well we uh we flip sorry we flip this so we're flipping it around like the z80 but it won't be 8000 obviously so this would this would be 111a but we flip it around and you can write this down if you want to to 1a11 so we need to do 1a11 rather than 111a and remember it's always 1380 so we need to subtract from that not 8000 like you know like other things this one is exclusively 1380 remember because it, it's the format it's the Sonic 2 format that's why it's a little bit more tricky so we do this 691 let's type that in and we will assume that's correct. It's just either an FC flag, which looks accurate. Yeah, that looks about right. So we go to name that six nine one. And all you do is you rinse and repeat. You do this for the other FM channels. So obviously we got that done. We got our uh, channels, tempo, drums, and you do the same thing. This is AF19, right? Well, let's put 19 AF. Take away 1380. What do we get? Ah, we get 6 OF. And you'll start to notice that a lot of these are like either similar or close. The drums is normally right before the start of the voice, the vo where the voice tables are, where the voices are. So. If you're getting a number close to that, then that should be right. You know, assuming that you've done the format correctly, that's what you get. And we'll do the same. You, you do the same here. So that's fine. Zero, 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 and you reverse that. So it'd be seventeen twenty. Take away thirteen eighty. Da 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 da. So what I suggest to do is do all that, then come back. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it all anyway. But I'm just explaining. That's what you do for all the channels, even the PSG channels. Once you've done that, come back here, and uh, we'll um, move on to the next part. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just go over to the drums. And something we can do, something we actually can do with the drums. So let's go to. Uh, DAC sample station flags. Oh no, no, actually, sorry, not that one. Always get confused. It says DAC, but actually, we want to go to uh, voice and notes if my internet wants to work today, because it has been a bit funny lately. Uh, or it might be the page. Sometimes retro goes down, which would be hilarious if it went down while I'm doing this. Um, I mean, I, I've got notes other, other elsewhere, but it's just easier. Just to, I'm just used to using this. Let's scroll down. We want uh, definitions. There we go. We might not have definitions for Moonwalker, but we have de definitions for Sonic 2 and Sonic 1, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and all that. So, obviously, like I say, we've got a lot of nothingness in the Sega sound there. Um, so let's have a look here. You got Sonic 2's got quite a few, so we need to uh, just find an equivalent. So let's have a look here. So we've got 81, which does the same. No worries there. 
8C, which is a hi Tom. We need to change that. So what you could do is, well, what I did is actually, which I think it sounds pretty, pretty good, pretty good equivalent, is hi Tom. Use hi Timpani, which I believe is actually yeah, it's actually 88 like it is here. So for the hi Timpani, I I mean hi sorry hi Tom, change it to hi Timpani. That's what I did. Um, and let's have a look. Let's see, we've got 80 low Tom, low Timpani, and I think that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, let's have a look here. 